We want to welcome you to the uh, 25th uh, anniversary of the presentation called Down by the Creek Bank. Now, I wasn't um, here when the first, uh, the 25th, the first one started out, but we had done this several years ago. It's a great, great program, and uh, you'll be blessed by it. Boys and girls are going to be coming in. They're going to come in from the sides and I think down this center aisle. I see a couple of folks that may have to stand aside just a little bit when they come in and make a path through there so all the boys and girls can uh, move in that direction. We're glad you're here. We appreciate you not only being here, we appreciate you putting your child in this ministry. Um, music is a, a great uh, interest on many people, but, but it's more than just an entertainment or interest. Uh, it teaches biblical and scriptural truths in a fun but a real meaningful way, too. And we appreciate you putting your child uh, in this um, and participating in our choir programs. Our choir programs are sort of wrapping up. In a couple of weeks, we kick off what's called Teen Kids, which is a, um, a sports-related um, discipleship uh, teaching that will go through from, uh, from March on into the summertime, too. And so uh, on 5 o'clock on Sundays, we have a lot of options for people from adults to all the way down to children, too. We're going to have a word of prayer uh, to begin tonight, and then uh, we'll uh, begin down by the creek bank. Let's have a word of prayer together. Lord, we are thankful for the joy that you give to us in Christ Jesus. And truly, Lord, it is a joy to be not only in your family, but to be your servants. Many have worked long and hard for a program like this tonight, uh, parents who have seen that their children are involved, the time and effort to have them here. We appreciate that, the rehearsals. Thank you, Lord, for their, their desire to see their child trained in the ways of the Lord and bless them for it. Thank you for those who lead it, the, the choir leaders and the, uh, the ministry that they do. But Lord, most of all, we want this ministry, this program tonight, to be a blessing to you. Hearts will be touched, uh, lives even changed as we witness this great truth and, and, and learn uh, through all of this. We commit it to you and ask for your blessings, and we ask this all in the name of Christ Jesus, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Hey kids, I found a great place to hang out and have a picnic. Let's have fun together.
a rubber boot. <laughs> hey, you ever hear the echoes out here? Well, just to snap that rock way over there. Hello? Hey, just listen at that deep valley down there. Hello? Hello? Just listen at the top of that mountain up there. Hello? <laughs> I said, just listen at the top of that mountain up there. Hello? But he said and answered, but he answered and said to them, I tell you that if these should keep silent, the rocks will, the, the stones would immediately cry out. Luke 14, I mean, 1940.
Pam, show us some tricks your invisible dog can do. horse the lone ranger's horse why because every time my mother looks at the trash she says to dum to dum to dum 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 <laughs> if i could be an animal i'd be a frog a frog why so i could eat what bugs make <laughs>
special kids you see. I'm proud to be a member of the royal family. My father owns a kingdom and he sits upon his throne. He gives me everything I need. It's nice to just be. So come on up to my father's house and join our family. Oh, cool it. You're just bragging. Yeah, but here's proof. Pretty big, eh? Probably enough to feed us all. You can't begin to feed all of us with just that one fish. Then I'll just have to catch one more, because I heard a story where Jesus fed 5,000 people with just two fish and with one more. Anybody want to swap three tuna fish sandwich f sandwiches for one peanut butter and jelly? <laughs> How about for one half peanut butter and jelly? That's enough tuna to feed all of us. Yeah, if I hadn't been taught to believe in miracles, I'd say that's how Jesus fed those 5,000 people with just two fish and bread. It could have been tuna fish. Tuna goes a long way. <laughs> Little barefoot through the sand what you got in that basket in your hand there's 5,000 people waiting to be fed how'd you like to share your fish and bread how'd you like to share your fish and bread to sum it all up you simply divide what your fish and bread just multiply add a little faith subtract all your doubt just watch it all work out through the land what you gonna do with the word in your hand there's hungry people waiting to be fed thirsty for the water and the living bread thirsty for the water and the living bread to sum it all up you simply divide what you see the blood just multiply add a little faith subtract all your doubt just watch it all work out You've got to give it away, pass it around, turn your baskets upside down. Tell that it's power to twinkle in your eye, the basket has told you how to multiply. Give it away, pass it around, turn your baskets upside down. Tell that it's power to twinkle in your eye, the basket has told you how to multiply. Master has taught you how to multiply. Let the master teach you how to multiply. Everybody wants to play his game. Come over here. I'll take all the boys. And I'll take all the girls.
Who was it, girls? Who was it, boys? Was it girls? Who was it, boys? What was the little boy's name that killed that giant with a sling? Who did Zacchaeus want to see from the top of the sycamore tree? Everybody give a yell. Who was in the belly of the whale? Okay, kids, it's beginning to get dark. We better gather all of our things up and head home. Aww. Well, if you'll hurry and get them all together, maybe we can hear some more stories. Okay. Charlie, come help me carry my fishing stuff. Okay, I'd love to. You want to carry the fish? Yeah, sure, that'll be great. Thing. A smile, a tear, a soft summer rain. It has no beginning, it has no end. But I like it best when it's shared with a friend. Love is never stop, never puff, never give. It's the biggest little word you can say By the way, it's sympathy Sincerity, it's charity The paper writing of everyday happiness is made up If you want to spend the night over at my house tonight You can win my new gown Sure, thanks I'll call my mom and see if it's okay You can wear my watch It keeps real good times Thanks, you're my very best friend.
stars pretty? Yeah, let's count them. You can't count all the stars. Yes, I can. I'm in second grade, and I can count all the way to 100. No one can count all the stars. God can. He made them. What do you think he made them of? It's either flashlights, lightning bugs, or maybe even shiny diamonds. Wow. That is something. Just think about how God made all those shiny stars. Just think. The Master spoke the world in space, and every planet took its place. But the earth was void and still seemed incomplete. So he blew the darkness all away. He made the light and called it day. At his command, creation came to be. God, you made the whole world, and you still wanted me. So you took a little clay, and you made me. You made Bill and Betsy, Pam and Jennifer, and all my other friends. You gave me everything I have, strong legs, good eyes, fishing poles, creek banks, tadpoles, and turtles. You even made girls. Summertime, I like them. You've given me a mama, a daddy, my little sister, and my puppy. You're a great God. If it weren't for you, I guess I wouldn't be anything. I'd probably still be mud. Dear God, help me not to forget you like a lot of other grown folks do, even when I get older. Is there anything I can do? Is there anything I can do for all the things you've done for me? Is there anything I can do? I'm willing to be used here.
The Bible says, let the little children come to the Lord and forbid them not, for of such is the kingdom of heaven. The Bible says, a child shall lead them. Tonight, we have seen the reason why we have church buildings, why we have Sunday school, why we have team kid, why we have mission friends and GAs and RAs. Tonight, we've been reminded why we uh, have teachers and preachers and leaders and why we're here. Perhaps your life has had a lot of puzzles in it, and you don't know what to do, and you don't know where to turn. The children sang a song just a moment ago, and they simply asked the question, is there anything, and ask God the question, is there anything I can do for you? Is there anything I can be for you? Is there anywhere I can go for you? Dear God, thank you for these boys and girls and for their singing from their hearts tonight. Thank you for their leaders. Thank you for the message of the music. And I pray that each of us might leave tonight saying, Dear God, is there anything I can do for you? And I want to do that. May we all come to you in simple, childlike faith, just as these children. In Christ's name I pray. Amen. Now give them a big round of applause. Would you do that? <laughs> and Robin Dean, their director, give her a big round of applause. Now you may find your children, hopefully, in the dark. <laughs> 